Hi everyone, happy Monday. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Molly. I am the Happy Soul Coach. I am an intuitive tarot card reader, also psychic medium. I read mostly for the Twin Flame Collective. Today I'm going to be doing a karmic extended reading. I uh, wanna find out what's going on with the karmic situation, especially since uh, we just had this big full moon. I have been channeling a lot of really big energy shifts happening around this time. We just went through the spring equinox. Uh, there's a lot of death and rebirth energy, a lot of star energy, which is healing after trauma. Um, I've been channeling a lot of union uh, unions happening in March and April. Um, so let's find out what's going on with this karmic situation. Okay, so if this um, reading resonates with you, all right, I'm going to go ahead and pull. We're going to find out the energies of the divine masculine, divine feminine, find out a little bit about what's going on with the karmic situation. Then if you want to watch the extended, it's over on Vimeo. It's $4.44 to watch the extended. The link is in the description box below. A couple of quick channel announcements. You guys, I just hit 10,000 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. I was literally crying. It happened uh, while I was in Sedona this past weekend with Nanette from Radiant Reiki, and it was just so awesome and um you know i'm so thankful for you guys thank you to everyone who, who's become a subscriber to the channel if you haven't yet i'd love to have you here um i am going to be giving a f away a free twin flame reading now that i have hit 10,000. um so again if you haven't subscribed to the channel definitely do it now click the little bell notification you'll be notified whenever i post new videos i will be making the announcement on how to win the twin flame um reading here in the next week or so okay uh thank you to everybody who's become members of the channel everybody who has sent me decks donations gifts you guys are so awesome um all of that information is below on how to sign up for those things how to send a donation or gift um you guys seriously i love you guys so much for doing that for me it's just awesome 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 if you guys want to sign up for a personal reading all that information is below i am having uh one live um, reading and coaching. So it's one hour of me and you live uh, this Thursday, um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so if you guys want to sign up for that, it's $179. Again, I don't do these very often. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, definitely jump on that. That link is going to be below. There's only uh, one opening right now that I have. Uh, this will also be, you know, you get a chance to be with me one on one, ask as many questions as you want about your twin flame situation. Um, I'll guide you through the answers from spirit, see what's blocking union uh, and also provide some coaching. OK, and then you'll get a recorded uh, version of the reading afterwards. All right. Um, also, guys, I really want to tell you, well, I was in Sedona. I had the most amazing experiences and I need to share these with you guys. And I'll put all of the information uh, below in regards to the healing sessions that that uh, Nanette and I did and also the beautiful uh, vortex hikes. So I worked with Kurt from Inner Journeys and I did a tapping um, exercise that helped me clear out some negative emotions that I was feeling towards a particular person. And guys, I'm not kidding you. This person actually messaged me and came forward to me with how I wanted them to be in terms of um, it was basically it was it was clear the negative emotion was cleared and this person just out of the blue decided to shift their their mode and I'm like it's because I did this energy healing with Kurt this tapping and it was absolutely amazing so I'm gonna put Kurt's information down below in the description box you guys if you guys want to book with him I've only done the tapping. I know Nanette uh, did a really great uh, meditation with him. He does also work over Zoom, so you guys can do distance healings with him. Highly, highly, highly recommended, you guys. I mean, it was awesome, okay? So it's Kurt from Inner Journeys. That information is gonna be below if you wanna book with him for any of your um, healings. And then also, we did a mystical tour with Kim uh, from Sedona Mystical Tour. She also has an amazing uh, women's empowerment and women's healing website. It's called Bodai Being. Um, and if you guys wanna book a healing session with her, Nanette and I basically did this vortex hike with her while she also did sound bath healings. Sorry, my dog's trying to get in, guys. Sound bath healings, and she is also just absolutely phenomenal. Would highly recommend it. Definitely check out her website to see those healings. I'm gonna pause this video real quick while I let my dog in. I'm back, sorry about that. As many of you who've been watching me for a while know that my dog is very particular. He wants to be here while I'm doing readings, so if I have the door shut, forget about it. He's coming in, all right. So yeah, if you guys want to book Kurt for anything or if you want to book Kim, um, and it, especially if you're going to Sedona, you guys have to book them uh, if you're in person, but they also do distance work as well. 
Um, so I would highly, highly recommend them. Nanette and I had a blast. Amazing, amazing healing journey uh, with both of them. So definitely check them out. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's all the announcements. Sorry. I know that was a lot, uh, but there's... Oh, one other thing. Sorry. <laughs> um, there's just been so much going on. Uh, you know, lots of things to tell you guys, which is awesome. And I got to turn that fan off because... Hold on a second. I'm sorry, guys. So many distractions this morning because the fan is blowing the curtains open. Okay. Um, so... I actually, um, a while back, did an amazing webinar uh, in regards to karmic situations and how to help clear them out, okay? Um, I have actually added it to my website now where it's available for you guys to purchase for $33. I will tell you, it's 30 minutes recorded. It gives you tools, um, help, coaching uh, about how to clear out a karmic situation for the best and highest good of all. So if you guys are really struggling with a karmic situation, I would highly recommend getting this webinar. Um, the link is also going to be below to that if you guys are interested in purchasing that. And once you purchase it, it's yours. You download it, it's yours to keep forever. Okay, so again, if you're struggling, you need some help with a karmic situation, um, that is a great, great tool. Um, I also talk about the Twin Flame journey and a little bit about my personal experience as well. So that's gonna be in the description box below as well. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. Sorry, lots of announcements, lots of exciting things going on. Okay, first card out that just flew out, and I'm actually using Accurate AF Tarot. You can purchase this on Etsy. Uh, guys, I just got the, what is this, the Ten of Swords. Huh. First card out, Ten of Swords. I haven't even called in my spirit guides yet. But they're like, no, no, got to pick this card. You got to pick this card. It literally flipped up as I was, uh, as I was shuffling. All right, so we obviously know something is coming to an end. Uh, this is the ending of probably a karmic situation since we're doing a karmic extended reading. So we're going to dive a little deeper. So let me just go ahead and call in my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, 5D and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective. Please guide us to the answers that we need to know today regarding a karmic situation. Again, if this is resonating with you guys, you can click over on Vimeo and watch the extended. All right. And don't forget to leave me a comment and like this video if this is resonating with you because that helps send it out into the YouTube universe so that more people get the message. All right, something's coming to an end. Probably the karmic situation. So let's find out what's the overall energy of the connection between the divine masculine and the divine feminine at this time. First card out for them is the two of cups. This is reunion, okay? This is perfect partnership. So again, these twins are moving closer to union and we've got the queen of cups. Now, when I did my live reading in Sedona, um, the queen of cups came out, okay? Uh, and again, this is something that, uh, this is where the divine feminine and the divine masculine's energy is at right now. Very much in their feminine energy, very much embracing um, the journey, very much embracing uh, the emotions, uh, feeling very emotionally stable, okay? Um, feeling very, very good about union, right? Okay, I've got the Nine of Rings, which is the Nine of Pentacles. This is beautiful. So the Nine of Pentacles represents luxury. I love that there's grapes on here. I'm going to actually turn it. Yeah, there we go. So again, it's like seeing the fruits of your labor, right? Both of you have been working. The Divine Masculine's been putting in his work and the Divine Feminine's been putting in his work. A lot of this energy coming through here is also releasing these trapped emotions, releasing triggers, right? If you guys have been feeling triggered lately, that's exactly what's happening, okay? The Divine is coming in. They're, they're causing you to be triggered so that you can release these final emotions so that you can get into this Two of Cups so that you can get into union, okay? And again, the nine of pentacles represents abundance, guys. So again, there's a there's an abundance of love. There's an abundance of, um, and they're saying satisfaction right now. And I feel like what this what they're trying to say is that between the twins right now, there's a lot of self love going on, and the twins are both moving into union within self, which means that that physical divine union between the twins is going to happen. Okay, we got the Six of Swords, so moving into smoother waters, okay? I love it. And again, the Six of Swords here on this card, it says resolution of difficulties. So again, there's there's a lot of resolution happening right now, okay? A lot of things, um, you know, coming to, again, coming to the surface and being able to heal that, resolving, resolving conflict, resolving old wounds, okay? 
Beautiful. All right. How is, uh, let's find out what's going on with the divine masculine. The two of pentacles. Beautiful. I love this too, because look at this. It's like the hands are um, intertwined. It's the two of rings, right? There's the infinity symbol here. So I feel like there, there's a lot of change that's happening within the divine masculine. And I feel like this is a lot of, um, a lot of internal change. Okay. It's like he's shifting in a new direction, right? Again, releasing that old past energy, um, really kind of getting a handle on his emotions, uh, clearing what's been triggering him. Okay, and then this, we've got the, I think this is the four, four of rings. So that's the four of pentacles. Yeah, again, really, um, so the four of rings to me, the four of pentacles can represent power and it can also represent holding on to something. So I feel like this divine masculine is really in a releasing energy, okay? It's almost like the opposite. Ooh, oh my God, and I just got heat all down my right arm as I said that. It's funny because, you know, and I've had some people recently ask, tell me that I don't read reversals. I turn the cards up, right? Listen, I read the cards intuitively, okay? And so sometimes a card comes out and I feel the energy around it. So sometimes it can be the opposite meaning of what the card is. Sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with the card, the energy that comes through. Sometimes they're showing me symbols on the card that's representative to the energy that we're channeling, okay? So here what I'm seeing is that he's in a very, um, in a state of releasing right now. He's in a state of releasing. Oh, we've got the two. Oh my gosh, how is that even possible? Oh, it's the six of cups. I'm sorry, it's the eight of cups. Oh my God, sorry. I look, It looked like two of cups, but it's an eight. But like for some reason, the eight's not complete on there and it looked like a two. I was like, Wait, how do we have two, two of cups? So the two of cups energy is obviously coming in very strong, right? That's reunion, guys. So this is the eight of cups, which is walking away from something. So again, remember I said the divine masculine is releasing. He is walking away from karmic situations. He's walking away from things that no longer serve him. And then we've got the Son of Cups. So this is, you know, he's feeling very um, intuitive. Uh, the Page of Cups is, you know, a very, um, it's a very fresh energy. Whoa, and that card just decided to fly out. It's a very fresh energy, a lot of new energy coming in for the Divine Masculine. Um, he's feeling very intuitive right now. He's really tapped into his inner, inner being, his higher self, okay, which is really good. Oh, my God, guys, and the Justice card just flew out. Okay, so again, the scales are balancing and they're balancing in your favor, Divine Feminine. I'm telling you right now, this karmic situation is coming to an end because we have the Ten of Swords here. And again, the justice is about balancing. So Divine Masculine is balancing out his energy right now. And again, you're getting your Divine Justice, Divine Feminine, right? You're getting your Divine Justice. All right, let's find out where the Divine Feminine is at. Energetically, please. Nine of Swords, okay. So again... You know, sometimes we have to go through this anxiety, not sleeping, um, in order to clear those triggers and things that are happening, okay? You're probably mirroring the Divine Masculine right now. Maybe you're feeling the things that he's clearing, you know, and maybe you're not sleeping right now. I feel like, um, I feel like a couple of you, there's somebody out there who's having a lot of stomach aches, okay? So if that's resonating with you, leave me a comment below. If you're having stomach, stomach aches right now, just know that that's going to pass, okay? Um... Again, it's it's just, it's these trapped emotions that are coming up, okay? These trapped emotions that are coming up, which is important for you to release it, okay? Remember that once we release these triggers, like right, once we sort of have that tower moment, that's when we get into our Queen of Cups energy, okay? So it's moving in that direction. And then I've got the star card, so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful, okay? So the star represents, again, harmony, abundance, renewal, inspiration, uh, healing after trauma, Okay, healing after trauma. And again, wishes coming true. So this is beautiful. So again, it's moving from this Nine of Swords energy into the star energy. And then we've got the Nine of, I'm sorry, yes, Nine of Cups. Sometimes these cards are a little hard to read. Nine of Cups, which means, again, all of, the fact that I get the star and the Nine of Cups together, that is literally like all of your wishes are coming true. This anxiety is short-lived. It's here to help you release those emotions. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so again... That I love that on this card it says returned favors, okay? So this is the divine saying, look, divine feminine, you have put in the work, okay? We've been guiding you every step of the way. You've been putting in the work. Um, you are going to uh, reap the benefits of all of the seeds that you have planted. And last card is the three of wands. Beautiful. 
Okay, so this says cooperation, giving partnership, um, assistance, and again, so here I do feel like, again, the three of wands means, guys, it's going to be worth the wait, right? You've been giving. You've been cooperating with spirit. You've been co-creating with spirit. You've been releasing these blocks. You've been working on yourself, okay? You go, girl. <laughs> you go, girl. And again, spirit is rewarding you with this divine justice by helping clear out this karmic situation that has kept your union stuck, okay? But again, you've been putting in the work, DF. You've been, you've been doing it, girl. All right, so let's find out a little bit about the karmic, and then we'll pop over to Vimeo for the extended. There we're going to find out about union, what's blocking union, channeled messages from the divine masculine. It's going to be really great. Okay, so for the karmic, sorry, that's way too many. I just want to, way too many. Sometimes these cards get stuck together. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, see? I don't like it when they come out too many at a time. There we go. Karmic, please. I'm flipped up. Okay. We've got the lovers. We've got the eight of pentacles. Ooh. We've got the nine of wands. Ah. The strength card. And the queen of pentacles. Okay. So guys what i'm seeing here is i'm seeing a disruption okay um the lovers can mean obviously you know coming together but when we're talking about this karmic situation we have the ten of swords out here first okay so this and on this card it, when the lovers is reversed okay which is the energy that i'm channeling here it says disharmony distrust jealousy friction and frustration that's exactly what's happening in this karmic situation and the divine masculine is done with it he's like i'm done i don't want this anymore right and then we've got the um the two of rings so this is lacking effort uninspired okay and lots of worry so again i feel like um this is something that i'm sorry this is the eight sorry the eight of rings i don't know why the ink on here keeps saying <laughs> this one's the two of rings okay so again, um, the eight of rings is lacking the effort, like not putting in the work, okay? Again, divine masculine is thinking about you, divine feminine. He's not putting in the work into this relationship because it's coming to an end, okay? So the nine of wands uh, represents, um, again, wounding, right? So there's a lot of wounding here. This is a trauma bond. This is a trauma bond between the karmic and the divine masculine, okay? Okay um we've got the strength card here again this is weakness insecurity powerlessness and discord okay and then we've got the queen of of rings which is again de deceit jealousy selfishness okay i love this deck i like hardly ever use this deck and a, a friend got it for me a while ago and i was called to to use this so Again, that's the energy that's coming through here, all right? And again, there's a lot of jealousy. And I feel like the, the karmic is very, very jealous of the divine feminine. She's very jealous of the divine feminine. Okay, and they're saying, uh, divine feminine, stand your ground right now because you may be feeling that energy directed towards you, okay, from the karmic. So make sure that you, you are um, standing in your power and standing up for yourself. Make sure you're protecting yourself, okay? Because that, that karmic's energy is very, very negative. And that can affect you, Divine Feminine, because you are an empath. All right, guys, if this is resonating with you, I'll see you over on Vimeo. Again, the link is below to head on over. I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.